In this video, I want to show you how to set up Pinterest purchase tag on our website. You should know the checkout of Pinterest is the purchase tag because Pinterest itself says checkout records complete transactions. A complete transaction means a purchase. So let's see how to do that. This is the website. I will set up the tag on this website with Google Tag Manager and this is my Pinterest business manager. If I go to my ad account of Pinterest, from the top menu, click on ads and go to conversions. Then from event history, you will see just three tags are being received from our website. Now we're going to set up the checkout, that means purchase tag on our website. So let's go to Google Tag Manager. Before creating the tag, let's go to preview mode to see what data and events we can get from tag assistant tab so click on preview insert here your website url and click on connect now let's purchase a product go to this product then add to card then view card then proceed to checkout then provide billing details then place an order our purchase is complete let's go to tag assistant tab and click on continue now we should get a purchase event on the left menu here we go this is the purchase event so click on it and go to data layer you can see here an event naming purchase is fired and also we will get here transaction ID value etc so let's go back to Google tag manager now we will take a new tag click on tag configuration and search from here pinterest there you go in the previous videos i have shown creating variables for pinterest tags so i'm gonna resume that in this video i have created a tag for pinterest tag id so i'm going to click on this plus icon and select from here pinterest tag id here you go now insert here the variable for email visitor email hashed event to fire select here the purchase tag now insert here order value parameter we have created a variable for order value but that was for add to cart event but we should know the order value variable of purchase event is different from that of add to cart event so let's create a variable for that click on plus icon and again click on here plus icon variable configuration take from here data layer variable data layer variable name will be let's go to tag assistant copy from here e-commerce and from the bottom copy value this is the purchase value then go back to google tag manager and paste here e-commerce dot value and give the variable a name i'm going to name it data layer variable for purchase value then click on save now insert here the currency variable so click on plus icon and select from here dlv for currency now provide here water quantity also we have created a variable for water quantity but that was for add to cart event but for purchase event we have to create a new variable because these are different so for creating that i have to duplicate this tab so duplicate it now go to variables then from user defined variables go to new click on variable configuration and select from here data layer variable and the variable name will be e-commerce then items paste here e-commerce dot items and i'm gonna name it data layer variable for items okay then click on save now we have to create a variable using custom javascript for order quantity so take a new variable and click on variable configuration and take from here custom javascript now we should write here a custom javascript for purchase item quantity this is the javascript code so i'm going to copy it and paste here and give it a name i'm going to name it custom javascript variable for purchase quantity then save it now we have to create another variable for order id so take a new variable click on variable configuration 
and select from here data layer variable and variable name will be go to tag assistant again copy from here e-commerce and then from the bottom transaction id go back to google tag manager and paste here e-commerce dot transaction id and give the variable a name i'm going to name it data layer variable for order id then click save now let's go back to the first tab of google tag manager now for water quantity variable click on plus icon now select from here custom javascript variable for purchase quantity that we have created a moment ago and provide here water id variable click on plus icon and select from here water id okay all are set now select your triggering go to triggering i want this tag to be fired when somebody complete the purchase on our website i have already created a purchase trigger but you can also create that clicking on this plus icon and trigger configuration select from here custom event name will be purchase then name it as a purchase trigger then save so i'm going to use my previous trigger so discard changes and going to select purchase trigger i'm gonna entitle it pinterest purchase tag so click on save okay our tag is ready now it's time to check either it's working properly or not so i'm going to preview again enter here your website url and click connect tag assistant connected let's complete a purchase on this website then add to cart then view card then proceed to checkout then provide billing details and then place an order our purchase is complete let's go back to tag assistant tab click on continue now we should get here a pinterest purchase tag here you go the pinterest purchase tag fired one times that we have created a while ago that means google tag manager says our tag is working properly but it's not enough we have to check it also on pinterest event manager uh, is it receiving data from our website for purchase event or not so let's go to pinterest event manager and refresh this tab now scroll down a little here you go the checkout tag is being received from our website that means our purchase tag is working properly now we should publish our container on google tag manager otherwise it will not be working in the real cases so go to google tag manager and submit this version give a version name i'm going to name it pin purchase and then publish our container is published so that's it in this video if you have any question or suggestion don't hesitate to drop down in the comment box i really appreciate your question and suggestions and if you found this video useful don't forget to hit the thumbs up button below the video and consider subscribing to my channel if you need any service for Google Ads, Facebook Ads, ZTM, GA4, Facebook Pixel, Conversion API, Server Site Tracking, etc., then I am working on Fiber Marketplace and also working on Upwork. You can place an order on these marketplaces or you can directly contact me on this WhatsApp number and on this Gmail address. So that's it today. See you in another video. Until then, goodbye. Thank you so much.